Now that we have redesigned our process to use the environment locking feature, let's see how to step through the process on both the computers. We first need to ensure that the currency exercise file which the process uses is residing in a shared folder. So I'll go to computer, C drive, open the folder BP training and you can see the currency exercise file saved here. We will share this folder so that we can access it from computer 2. So I'll right click, properties, go to the sharing tab, click the share button and click share, done and close. Next I'll map this shared folder as a network drive. So I will click start, right click computer, click map network drive, select the drive letter Z, enter the shared path which is slash slash 192.168.249.132 which is basically the IP address of this computer then backslash BB training. Ensure that reconnected logon option is selected and click finish. Now the BB training folder in the C drive is mapped as a network drive with the drive letter Z. Next I will go to computer 2 click start, right click computer, click map network drive, select the drive letter Z and type the shared folder path which is backslash backslash 192.168.249.132 backslash BP training. Ensure reconnected logon is selected and click finish. It will prompt you for username and password. Here you need to enter the Windows username and password for computer 1 along with the computer name. So my computer name for the first computer is win7bpprod1 then backslash cnarun1984 which is the Windows login name in that computer. Then enter the password. Select the option remember by credentials then click OK and the network drive is mapped. Now we will go to computer 1 and in the process we need to change the path of the Excel file. So I will double click the stage open workbook and I'll replace the C backslash BP training with Z colon backslash because the folder BP training in C drive is mapped as Z drive now. I'll click OK and save the process. Now let's open the same process from computer 2. So I'll go to computer 2, double click currency conversion WQ and I got this pop up which says the selected process has been logged for editing by another user Arun Nair on Win7BP Prod1. That is because we have already opened the process in our computer 1. You cannot edit a process simultaneously from two computers. So you can either select unlock the process and start editing it or leave the lock in place and view the process instead. This basically means one of the two computers has to go in read only mode. So I'll select the second option and click next and the process has opened in read only mode. Now you can see whatever changes we made to this process from computer 1 has reflected here as well because we are opening the process from the same database. Also if you double click the stage open workbook you can see that the file path is updated to the new path which is the Z drive. But the problem with read only mode is that none of the debugging tools are available so we cannot step through the process or set a breakpoint. This will not help us to see what's going on step by step. So as a workaround we will close this, go to computer 1 and we'll clone this process and save it with a different name. We do that by clicking file, save as and I'll name it as currency conversion WQ2. Click next, enter the description and click finish. Now we can see currency conversion WQ2 is open here. I will close this, open the original process which is currency conversion WQ. Then I'll go to computer 2 and if I click refresh, the new process should appear here but if it doesn't appear, simply switch to some other tab and come back to studio and you should see it. So I'll double click currency conversion WQ2, 
and now we have two separate processes configured to do exactly the same steps and work with exactly the same file queue and environment log. So let's step through the process on both the computers and see what happens. Before that I'll go ahead and clear the currency queue. Then I'll go to computer 1 and start stepping. It executed the acquire lock and if we open the token data item you can see that we have got a value which means the lock has been acquired successfully by this bot. Now if I step again since there is a token and the decision becomes true the process will go to the create instance stage. Now we will go to computer 2 and if I start stepping You can see that the process waited for a moment at the acquired lock stage before it moved to the decision stage. And if we open the token data item, you can see that it is blank because it was not able to acquire the lock as it was already acquired by computer 1. So if I step again, it will take the no path and goes to the launch stage. Now if we go to the system tab and click environment locks. You can see that an environment lock named Excel lock is created and the status shows the locked symbol. It also shows which process and resource have acquired the lock and at what time. You can also see that the resource name is the computer name followed by underscore debug. This is because we are running the process from the process studio. If you run it from the control room, it will only show the computer name and it will not have this underscore debug at the end. Alright, so let's go back to computer 1 and continue the process. I'll set a breakpoint at launch and click go. Alright, the breakpoint reached. So the bot has opened the Excel, took the data into collection, added the data into queue and released the lock. So if I go to system again and click environment locks, you can see that under status it shows unlocked symbol which means that the lock has been released. And if I go to control tab, click the currency queue, you can see that the items have been added to the queue and also it shows which resource added the items to the queue. So now if I click go on both the resources, it will start picking up the next available item one by one from the queue and process them. But once it reaches this update excel stage, we will again have a problem because the Excel was opened by computer 1 so only computer 1 can update at this point and when computer 2 executes this stage it will run into an exception because it never created an Excel instance in the first place. So how do we resolve this situation? <laughs> well let that be your homework I'm not going to say now. Go ahead and try any logic that you feel is right. There will be a number of ways and you can choose whichever way comes to your mind. So in the next video, I will show you what logic I have applied to this situation. Alright, thank you for watching.